Hey, Julie Dean here with Culinary Works, joined by my special friend Matt Fry here. Matt is the master of his own master ceremony, which we're going to talk about. But we're also here today to give you guys a little bit of inspiration if you want to host your own master's party. And we're going to be doing some pimento cheese sandwiches. We're going to make a master's azalea cocktail and the uh, egg salad sandwich. I'm ready. And then a little dessert, which I already pre-made, but that's going to be another special one too. The uh, quintessential yes. master's fair. Exactly. This is at every every time you're on the grounds. These are like two dollars and fifty cents. We probably can't even cook it for that cheap. I know, right? Like oh. I, th I think the egg salad is like a dollar fifty a sandwich. I think so. I haven't been. I'm supposed to go. I can't wait. But this is going to make this is going to put us in the mood. Exactly. Let's do it. Exactly. All right. So we're going to start off with the uh, with the cocktail. Um, I'm going to go ahead Great and call. fill this up with some, we yeah, might as well start with that. I'm going to fill this up with some yeah, ice. It's Friday. And we want to uh, tell them kind of what our ingredients are in the cocktail sure. here. So the cocktail, this is called the Azalea Cocktail. Uh, we've got two ounces of uh, fresh squeezed lemon juice, which it looks like you've already done. Yeah. Uh, pineapple juice. Um, four ounces of vodka and a little grenadine. Yeah. And we're just going to combine it all in the shaker and exactly. make it happen. Is the that already measured out as two ounces? Well, we're just going to kind of, yeah. We're going to kind of wing it. Wing it, yeah. We're going to wing the, wing the amounts here. All right. A little pineapple, the vodka, the important part, right? Yeah, that doesn't look quite like four ounces. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably a lot. But it's Friday. It's good Friday here. Exactly. Um, so Master starts what? We got... It it'll start on Thursday. It'll start Thursday. Master's week starts Monday. Right. It starts on Thursday. You had mentioned in the beginning I do this auction, which I've been doing for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. I inherited this from a buddy's dad. And oh, you did? Yes. Uh, this has been going on for. You want a shaky shake? Yeah, sure. For one? decades. Okay. And um, I'm bummed. This year we cannot do it because of COVID. We had it scheduled. We were going to do it. And then I thought it maybe was a little selfish. We are all probably two weeks from being vaccinated. Right. And so it probably would have been aggressive to do this. Yeah. I'm gonna, I would have been I would have been the super spreader. And by the way, I've already been that since I was ground zero I number remember. one in Norwalk. <laughs> right. I remember. Um, Okay, we're gonna talk about that um, particular, because uh, people probably, oh, look at that, it's perfect color. That looks perfect. Pretty color here. On um, sight. All right, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers to the masters. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, no problem. Our DIY t-shirts, courtesy of my daughter. That is legit. It's got some good zip with the- uh, good. With the lemon juice. Yeah, so that kind of makes it not so. It takes the sting you know, out of the right. uh, pineapple. Right, exactly. All right, All right so don't watch how fast this may disappear. We have got a little extra. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so what do you want to make? What do you, what do you want to make first? We could do the. Well, you've done the hard-boiled eggs. Yeah, so why don't we start rolling those and giving those a little crack here? Okay, you got it. Just gently, and then. I actually watched. Bowl. I watched this gal on uh, YouTube the other day, like uh -huh. just crack the bottom blow into it and the whole thing came off like oh at lunch, which i oh to make I, to make um i need a garbage bowl because she was gonna make the no, she was she had made hard boiled eggs this wasn't to yeah. like do an easter egg it's like how she skinned it for like for real oh i thought you were saying like how she was making no that's how she blew off the skin to actually i don't know what she was making oh well you do want to try that i do not <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord all right all right, I'm gonna do what we need, do you think? Yeah, we can do three or four, yeah, whatever, do them all. So let's talk about that ceremony really quick. So yeah. I know people have like flown home early from vacation because they, like, if you miss, you miss. So it is 10 tables of six guys. Okay. Okay, I, I don't invite all the guys. I've assigned 10 captains. Right, right, so they and grab... Gordo is Peter's captain. That's right, and yeah. so, and Gordo had been there moons before I had, right? Okay. This was a thing with Gino Kelly way back when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so we moved it out of the country club scene. Yeah. Not doing a very good job here. Yeah, some of them. Um, and then, uh, you know, so these guys line up. We have an auction. I, I create buckets of different players, and these guys bid on those players. And you know it's it's more. I just start fun. with a pool of money, right? You start with it. Everybody. So everybody, with the same. it's fifty bucks a guy, and so you have the betting power of three hundred bucks per table, okay. which is not a lot. Right. So it's not a big problem. Yeah. Look at that done. Oh, it's okay. I just wanted to reveal a little bit of Easter. Here. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. It matches our shirts. There you go. Oh, it does. All right. All right. That's, that's good. 
Good. All right. All right so you choose a knife here, whichever one you want. Take okay. a sip of your drink if you want. I watched, uh, who did I watch? Who, who wanted the big handle? Who's that? Oh, that uh, was Jamie. Yeah, that, that was, was Hanford. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like, oh, I'm going to take the big handle one. So you just want this finely chopped? Yeah, right? just chop okay. it up nice and fine. Yep, yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, they don't really do much to it. So we've already got the, let, let's see, that's like a perfect hard boiled egg right there. Look at that. Looks good. Right. No, no not, green not ring. Okay. No oh, green the green ring. wings are the over. The green ring is overcooked. Yeah, okay. all we did was boil water, drop the eggs in the boiling water 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, and then you take it out and immediately put it into um, an ice bath, like literally ice water for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I wouldn't So 10 that. and 10. Okay. And then take it out of the ice bath and then give it a roll. That's it. I'm going I'm going big and then I'm gonna go fine, all right? Yeah, no problem. I like it. Go big and go big. Go home. <laughs> so anyways, I'm bummed. We don't get to do the auction this year, but it was uh it'll it'll rebound. And then on the side, other than the actual auction itself, we all do individual betting where you all the players in the field you can pick a, a guy to win. And the right. pot's gotten big. It's it's gotten like ten thousand bucks. So there's a lot of money to win. Oh yeah. I mean when Peter does it too, I mean, he's when he's there, he's like, you know, watching the Masters, like, diligently, like, wait, that's my guy. He has to, you know, yeah. I can win this. And you can, you know, the little side bets that go on. And It's funny. The first year I was invited to do it, I, I chose this guy. His name is Charles Schwartzel, and I was the only ticket on it. And I was actually a fill-in that year for the auction, uh -huh. and I won the entire pot. Like, I was the only ticket. And so... Oh. It actually didn't look very good. Like, people were pissed. They're like, who's this guy? Who's this new guy? Yeah, who's the new guy that took down the whole pot? But it was fun. That's awesome. All right, so imagine the number of pounds of, mac of um, egg salad that they must make. Yeah. I mean, like, I couldn't even imagine how many pounds, right? I mean, like, it's got to be some crazy, crazy amount. It's, uh, not to mention, I think they do, you know, they, they're serving the whole time, and then they do the... The winners from last year's dinner. I think Dustin Johnson won last year, or actually in November, right? Yes, yes, they yes, yes. It up. And I saw his thing. He's doing pigs in a blanket, and he's doing like you know steak and fish. Nothing. Right, 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 right. All right, this looks pretty um, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm sort of rough. I'll keep going while we're going. Okay, so you're lefty. I'm lefty. Okay, so when you're here, right? Let me yep. help you out a little bit here. So yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that's better. Yep, yep. You were worried I was going to cut myself? No. Just not very professional. <laughs> you're just, hey, it's all, you just want to get it done, that's all. All right, so we've got some regular good old mayonnaise here. Okay. We're going to scoop it right in, right? Just think it'd make it a little easier here. Yeah, go hands. Yep. All right. Now, what do you think the over-under is that they're using Miracle Whip down south? And what do you think about you know Miracle Whip in lot? general? Because oh god, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Can't right? stand it. What I read about was Dukes. Is Dukes like Miracle Whip? Oh no, I don't think so. But I don't. That's what I read a lot was Dukes. I'm it's... not familiar with Dukes. Who's familiar with Dukes? Like Dukes mayonnaise. I've actually heard of it, and I don't think it's because of that. Okay, I th that is it sort of like a Dijonese maybe? No, I think it's just another brand. Are you really just chucking yeah, it yeah, on the just, floor? Yeah, yeah, just that's how we clean up here at the end of the day. <laughs> yep, this makes it easy. Do you like that? That's perfect. <laughs> All right, so mix that up there. Okay. We'll mix it up and then we'll a little pepper. Okay. I like the, I'm very psyched with my azalea cocktail. It's really good, actually. Right? Yeah. It looks Cosmo y, but it's better than that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, the idea is that it's supposed to match like the colors of the, you know, of the yes. books, you know. So a lot of people think that they have rigged it. Right. That oh, they, right. I know that they rig. Yep. That they rig the bloom of the azaleas. That they pump in like they pump particular in the bird, bird, in the bird sounds. And you're a bird person. I'm a bird. We share, we share that. I'm a bird nerd, and I don't think that they do. I don't think they did do. A little salt. A little salt. I don't think we need a ton of salt, but we definitely need some. Do we paprika this? A little bit of paprika. Yep. Yep. Right. A little bit of paprika. All right. And then we're gonna we're get the done. white bread. This is only white bread. You're only allowed to use white bread. Now, do you think they toast it or not? No. 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 Way. no. This is this is like no frills here, okay. right? So we'll match, make sure our breads match up. All right. So we'll right. just spread those on. Sure. And uh, and then there, I tried to get the green, um, the green. It's like a green little um, plastic bag that they put it in. Oh right, the little paper. You yeah, know. Yeah, it's like a green plastic bag, and I tried to get that for the for today's shoot, but I couldn't. 
uh, you can order, you can actually order boxes where they send everything, the cookies, everything in the wrapper, right, right, right. the little sandwich packs. You know what? I, I was looking because someone dropped that off last year and I did not find it. I was hoping to bring that too. All right, I'm not going to go nuts with this, right? Yeah, no, I think that's perfect. You, I think they do them pretty, like, you know. You think they triangle it? You think they take off the crust? <laughs> or we can cut it in fours. <laughs> Hold on, Make I'm tea sandwiches. Yeah, go ahead. Let me give it a little taste here. Of the, uh, just of this, just to taste wrong. I mean, I feel like I saw it, I think it's delicious. Right? Yeah, yeah. Should I take a bite? Yeah, of course. Here, I'll cut Can it. Can you little... cut my crust off? I will. <laughs> <laughs> right? Let's give it a shot. All right, look at that. <laughs> so you can make a bunch of these during Masters weekend, right? Just a little really simple like salad. It's really good. I mean, it's really simple, but it's really good. All right. But I love mayonnaise. I mean, sometimes simple tell. is better. Yeah. <laughs> my, my mayonnaise neck. All right. It's very good. It's very good. That's easy. I think I have to take one more bite. I will. I just don't want to like soak up my alcohol. I got to drive later. <laughs> All right, let me get a plate, please. All right, yeah, let's leave those. Delicious. It is really good. That was it's easy. It's really good. We'll so I suppose you could over mayo it, right? You could. Here, we'll put that on display. I'll put yours yes, here. Yes, I'm going to eat that. I know you are. It's fine. I'm going to eat mine too. Clean up our board. Are you keeping this or you want to fridge it? Um, yeah, we'll put it, yeah, we'll, we'll put it behind. That's perfect. All right, so we have another great sandwich to make. And it's also, if you didn't want to, um, with this particular sandwich, the pimento cheese, if you wanted to just serve the pimento cheese as a dip, um, you could do that as well, because it is a um, pimento cheese. You know, it's frequently served as dips in down the south. You have more mayonnaise on me? No, no. You just had a piece of bread. All right. Good. All right. So now we're gonna try and go on the fine. We'll see which one you know really works best. This okay. would obviously be the easiest, but let's try and see if a little bit will come on that one. Okay. Um, now this is actually. Let's see. What is this like, Jack? That's and gonna be too. It's gonna take forever. Is that cons that's not pimento cheese? Right. No, because we're using actual pimentos. Right. Right. The and pimentos here. And the only other place you can find those in the world is in an olive. Because what else do you use pimentos for then? Uh, this is exactly what we're doing. Right. There's no other use. I don't know other than an olive. Right. right? And there's I actually didn't olives. know you could buy it in a jar. I thought maybe yeah, you were no, gonna no. have to get a bunch of olives <laughs> and take it out. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a little laborious. That would be hard. Right. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's gonna, gonna be. Work, yeah, yeah, that's gonna take. That's gonna be. Just, so it's gonna take too long. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a pain. Right. Just go with that. One. All right. All right. So I'm gonna drain these a little bit. So this is what, just like a jack and a that's cheddar. That's a sharp cheddar. Okay. Sharp cheddar and and Monterey Jack. Yeah, okay. exactly. And why couldn't we have just bought shredded? I mean, this is not hard. I'm not worried about it. Right. Well, because it's just not <laughs> as pure, and it just has the caking agents to it, and it has okay. all the extra stuff okay. in it, which you know we really don't need. We want to keep it like kind of. You know, as pure as possible. Do we want to go as much as we can here, or are we just doing a We're portion? We're going to go for about a cup. Okay. I think I've covered it. Good. Let's see. Let's see. We'll confirm here. Oh, no. Keep going. Two cups. Okay. Two cups and then one cup. And then we got cream cheese already and mayonnaise in the bowl. Okay. Which is here. So cream cheese and mayonnaise. I'll put the recipes up on the uh, website for you guys. Great. If you want those. So give like me a little grass. background here. Like, like so. green grass. I love the green grass. <laughs> um, so the website, because I haven't caught up with you in a while um, in terms of what you got cooking, right? So the whole idea, Perfect. and I'm doing two of the jack. One of the jack, yeah. Oh, one of the jack. I'll take okay. this here. So we got one cup. Tell me what's going on perfect. with biz. Well, um, it's you know it's been pretty quiet, so I've tried to kind of get creative here with some different uh, kind of fun you know opportunities, kind of like this. I know. I, <laughs> I hope I don't send it in the other direction. You can always, I won't take it personally if you, ta if you take this one down. No. Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, here goes our little pimentos. Um, so, yeah, so these videos are doing like the guest videos, which I yeah. think are just honestly are so much fun because I miss this interaction with people. It's you funny. Know, I, miss, I miss the energy that is created from things like this and then the moments of just That's sharing. Great. Yeah. Um, people forget, like, people are out there worried that they forgot how to talk to people. They're right. either like Zooming. Or not. And right. I, by the way, I, I can't stand Zoom. Oh, I can't just, stand I know, looking right. at myself. Right. 
It's so awful. Well, you know, you can go to like the back end of Zoom and like change your like complexion or you can like. I can change can my background. It. I haven't figured yeah. out. I don't think there's a filter that works so well for me. <laughs> All right, so we're we're good here, right? We're good here. We got our cheese. Let's get the rest of that in the bowl. I'll got take it. this away. Okay, we're good there. All right, so we need a little bit of onion. Hold okay. on. So let's see. Yep. All right, we got our cheeses. We got our pimento. We're gonna do a little bit of onion here. Try. So there we go. We just need like um, like a tablespoon of minced onion. That's it. Yep. So do you just want a me to not? Tablespoon. Do you just want take a quarter of it? This should be okay. fine. Um, and then we're gonna go onion, uh, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and salt and pepper. And give it a good mix. I've got a wooden spoon, so I'm gonna work pretty well with that one there. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so back to the business. I mean, you know, I think come fall, the corporate side is gonna get back and be yep. busy, busy again, because yep. I think corporations are gonna need, you know, the team building. Because after all of this, people working, you know, from home, it's just, you know, they're dying, you know, they're just dying to get everybody back together and to just, you know, do some more team building. So I think that'll come back, you know, with a good vengeance. And I'm hoping that Nantucket, you know, hoping yeah, to that's get right. Good so you, you go out there and do full catering like uh, just, for no, individual parties or not? Private parties where people are cooking together. Okay. Right. Okay. So it's the same kind of thing like Great. what we're doing here. Yep. It's just, you know, well, we, we did that at, the, at your other spot too. Remember that? Yeah. 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 Like that, right that when I like, moved to town, like a 20 long years ago. Time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, like 18, 19, 20 yes. years ago. I remember that was, was a long really time ago. Fun. And Sean Murdoch was there. And our friend uh, who couldn't make it so hot that night was it Bob Delafield that like. Yeah. Yeah. I think Sean went home early too. Anyway, yeah. no, we're not calling you guys out. Just. You know. Do you got? Do you guys still have the kegerator there? Keep going. No. Am I still going? A little going? bit more. A little bit more. Yep. Minced onion, right? So you want to be nice and fine. Yep. Exactly. You like that knife? I love the knife. Yeah. Thank you. I'm getting this for you. <laughs> So I'll kind of start to mix this up here. So look, so we have our, just to kind of reiterate here, we have our cream cheese, we have our uh, pimentos, we have our um, cream cheese pimentos, our cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack, and then we're gonna throw in some minced onion and a little bit of garlic powder and uh, cayenne pepper and some salt. How are we doing? Good. More? No, that looks great. All right, so I'm gonna have you put this in, I'm gonna have you start mixing here. Just a tablespoon? Uh, you can go a little bit more. It's so funny when I was trying to come up with the recipes of, yep. you know, like, okay, yeah. so we got to celebrate the masters. And I was like, well, I could do this to the sandwich. And Peter said, don't you dare. Don't do Dude. anything. Uh, like, you have to keep have it to go here. by the book. You have to go by the book. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> so we, you know, are not, you know, here, I'll let you mix. For a do we bit. have a favorite golfer? Do you know enough to have a favorite golfer? I think Brooks kept us pretty cute. Did you see what just happened to Brooksy? No. He just took a knee. He asked his... Oh, she, Yeah. Oh, You're yeah. out of the game. Damn it. You're out of the game. Damn it, honey. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah he just took a knee. He just, uh, he just he just asked her to marry him. What's her name? Molly Sims or something? I don't know. Some beautiful... I mean, yeah, I've never seen pretty. a picture on Instagram. Of their, they were in some yeah. tropical island. Like... No, they're... Right. Yeah, they're, she's really pretty. Yeah, she's really pretty. All right, we're going to go a little garlic powder here. Okay. And then we'll keep mixing. That should Ready? be good. We're going to go... So this little, typically you put in the fridge good. for a while and then it's it sort of solidifies, there. Yeah, right? so typically, yes. You would let this sit in the fridge for a little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, I know. We're going to go with some pepper here. Let's that. A little bit of pepper. And again, we're going with the white bread because... I think it's just traditional, right? I know. I mean, I felt guilty buying it today. I was like, oh, okay. Why? What would you this? normally do? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, no. You can't do like a not white up. bread. Not white bread. I mean, look, I would buy fresh white bread. That's different. Yeah. Well, I get bread aches from not having bread. Have you ever had those? Because you bread aches from not eating bread. <laughs> so it works. Right. You know, it's sort of like Survivor. If you went on Survivor and had just bread and water, you'd oh, lose you lose twenty would... pounds. Yeah. So probably. that's that's my next diet. Right. Right. Let's go with our. More? No, we're good, right? No, we're good. We're good. Let's go with our bread here. So can we, can I back up? I meant to ask you, I know we joked a little bit about a pimento, but, but what is a pimento? It's a red pepper. It actually is like a, a red, red bell pepper, pepper yeah. that is like or, pickled? Or it could be like a certain, it's, it's a, like a, a pimen, like a certain type of red pepper. Like the little ones? Mm-hmm. But they're and not spicy. Just, but it's just pickled. It's spicy, yeah. Or, yeah. 
It's not pickled. Here, let's let's actually. I like them in my things. Here, you need your strength there. Uh -oh. Can you do it? Oh, oh fancy. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So just take one. I don't like them in my olives. That's just a red pepper. You'll see. So you should taste it. Oh, it is. Right. I thought it was actually going to be a little sweeter. It's yeah. not. Mm -mm. Okay. It's just like a basic red pepper that's been like. I want to say probably roasted or something, and um, yeah. Do you want to spread this? Yeah, let's spread. Okay. This will be my first ever real pimento cheese sandwich. <laughs> you know what? It might be mine too. Right. Although I've had the dip, you know, like. Yeah, the dip is pretty common too. So if you didn't want to do this for your master's party or something, you could serve this probably with like be like Ritz crackers would be. Yeah. Pretty appropriate. Also good bread. Right? Yeah, good bread. Yeah, this yeah, was like yeah. the. Yep, yeah, I'll cut it up for you. This was the. You could like cut this in like little tea sandwiches, cut it in fours. Yeah. You, you can, for a party. If you're not crazy about white bread, you can get the peppers far very thin. Right. Maybe you can feel better about it. Right. Look, I have so no yeah. problem. So you can put them up on a little tray, like cut them in little fours. So you have your little yeah, pimento cheese sandwiches, and you have your egg salad sandwich. Here we go. Give it a try. I mean, it's really good. No. Yeah. I think I'd probably... It's all over my face. No, it's right over mine. I'd probably prefer it as a dip over a sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'd have a hard time going up and choosing this over the egg sandwich. Although they don't... They're the same consistency, all that kind of it stuff. Is. But I think I'd like it as a dip better. I mean, because... I'm see, I want lettuce. Yeah, for a little crunch. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, I was like... No. No, you can't mess. No, can't mess with it. Got to keep as tradition. Just keep it the right way that it is. It is really good. Mm. It's good. It's good. Not bad. It's good. I agree. I mean, you know, a lot of people are too healthy for this kind of stuff. Right. I am not. <laughs> Cheers. All right. So we've got one more really great dish, and um, you know, like I said, when I was doing this, I tried to choose the dishes that I thought would be the most unique or traditional for on, the I'm actual yeah the most unique or traditional for the uh, master um so which is the peach ice cream sandwiches so now, do, do they serve these on site or it's just big down south no they serve these on site oh they do i on didn't the know tournament. that okay yeah, they have these at the tournament they're made um by a woman christine's cookie cup or christine something okay so and they don't give the recipe all right well that's so this smart. is kind of like my adaptation so I made peach ice cream and then made uh, very traditional sugar cookies. But the key is if you ever do an ice cream sandwich, the key is to wrap them individually um, in plastic like this. Okay. Because otherwise um, they will, um, they won't, they'll be a mess. Like you can't freeze them this way. You have to kind of compress them. Let me put it like this. So this All is right, like a, a peach, peach ice cream This looks really sandwich. good. Yeah. It's really legit. <laughs> Did you use real peaches and everything in mm -hmm. here? Well, they're frozen. Right. But that's really good. I couldn't that's find anything really else. Really good, thank you. Mm. See, that's yeah. My kids, yeah. my kids would freak out for these. Look yeah. how pretty these are. Well, peach ice cream. So do you have an ice cream maker, or did you just do. do it in a bowl? You do. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, it's, all it is is churn it. It just yeah. turns it and turns it and turns I it. I watched it chopped. Like Right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I want one of those things. I know, right? Um, wow, that is awesome. I mean, this would be a lot better at the auction if we could serve this stuff. We do like a steak dinner and nobody eats it. So it's sort of a waste. Oh my God. That's, you should. You should serve like real masters. I should food. hire you. Right, there you go. I mean, these guys spend a lot of money for this thing. They do. Why not have a good you? Right. As long as Peter doesn't bet with it at the auction. <laughs> So, hey, Matt, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so sorry. Today. Thank you very much for having me. Enjoy the Masters Tournament, one of the great traditions of um, good well, old we gotta make a, you got Before we go, you got to make a pick. Who's going to be? you gotta, you got to take Is a pick. Justin Thomas? Yeah. yeah. You're taking JT? I'm going to go Justin Thomas. I am going to say, I'm going to go with John Rahm. Oh. Okay? All right. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Woohoo!